In other headlines, Mayor de Blasio announcing a major milestone today for New York City. 75% of all adults in the city have received at least one dose of a coronavirus vaccine. And this comes as the third New York City Homecoming Week concert took over Brooklyn tonight, an event where all in attendance needed to be vaccinated. And that's where we find News 12 Sabrina Franza. Sabrina, what were the highlights? <laughs> Hey Amanda, tonight was a celebration of love, of hip hop, of New York, of just getting through this horrible year that was 2020. And everyone we talked to was just really excited to be in a space singing and dancing with the people around them where everyone was vaccinated. Take a listen to a bit. From the where it was Biggie, you ain't from the borough. This mockery. Oh. Run up on you. Yeah, Brooklyn is definitely no stranger to hip hop. Lots of tribute to Biggie Smalls, especially tonight was a celebration for everyone. A concert that was the third in a series of concerts across the city to celebrate the summer of New York City. And every single person here, like I said, had to be vaccinated. There was a star studded lineup tonight with Big Daddy Kane, designer, CNC Music Factory, DJ Mr. C and El Varner. That's just to name a, two, a few. After tonight, there are two concerts left, one in Queens and then the grand finale concert in Central Park. In Manhattan that's on Saturday, all produced by New York City and the Universal Hip Hop Museum. We met a ton of New Yorkers vibing out tonight. Take a listen to some. I feel great. Vaccinated and all. I feel great. It's a great tribute to see the old school rappers come to Brooklyn through the COVID. Everybody's been cooped in. I feel good to be outside. I'm keeping my distance though. I'm gonna let them stay up there. I'm gonna stay back here, but feel good just to be outside, period. Their energy is uh, giving me enthusiasm tonight. So Sabrina, we know everyone there needed to have gotten the COVID shot. Do we know how many adult New Yorkers have gotten that shot in Brooklyn and the Bronx so far? Yeah, Amanda, like you just mentioned just before, 75% of adult New Yorkers have gotten the first dose of the COVID vaccine, and they'll need to present proof of that vaccination if they're going to either of the two concerts that are still scheduled for tomorrow and Saturday. And you can either show your actual physical card, the New York City app, or the Excelsior app to do that. Amanda. Sabrina, thank you so much. And as she mentioned, the homecoming concerts not done just yet. On Friday, the Five Borough Tour heads to Forest Hill Stadium. That is in Queens. And then the final concert is going to be on Saturday on the Great Lawn in Central Park as well. Now, that concert is going to be headlined by some big names like Bruce Springsteen, Jennifer Hudson, LL Cool J, and Paul Simon, along with many more.